Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show. This is Renee with Renee Celebrity News. Well, it's time to talk about these Kardashians again. And yes, I do love the Kardashians. Many of you say, oh, they have you guys under a spell. Well, if you can put me under a spell where I really prefer to be under your spell than not, then put me under your spell, okay? <laughs> I love being under the Kardashian spell. I wish that they could just go on more and more. I hope that they have spinoffs and things of that nature. Since this is the last season of Keeping Up with Kardashian, season 19, we're on episode four. So there are two sisters that are part of this clan. It is Kendall and Kylie, the two youngest sisters who are the daughters of who used to be Bruce Jenner, now Caitlyn Jenner. Kendall is the oldest of the two sisters. And you know that Kylie, to me, Kylie is known to be the one who has the lip gloss and the makeup line. She's a multimillionaire. She has many followers. And Kendall has mentioned in the past that she had more friends than her in high school. So Kendall kind of turned to nature and horses and began to kind of do her own thing with that. But Kendall does suffer from anxiety. We always have Per, there's always somebody in the family that has a specific issue, um, usually, where you have to just treat them with a little different care than everybody else. So once again, Corey is in the middle of it, not in the middle of it, but he is a part of it. And he was there at the physical altercation that the two sisters recently had. I am a teacher at heart. So one of the things I want to do with these clips that I am going to show you right now is I want you to watch them and I have a question for you. I will have a commentary at the end and I will have some advice to people like Corey that I think will be helpful also to people like Kendall, also to just everyone because I kind of am a little bit guilty too. So watch these clips and the question I'm gonna ask you is, what do you think of of the take that Corey has on this situation? How was your, where'd you go, Mammoth? Yeah, we went to Mammoth. How was it? To be honest, it was kind of a lot. People were picking on me, and by people, I mean Courtney. And whether she thought she was joking, I didn't really think it was a joke. Like, when we were getting in the car, she immediately put her feet up on my center console. I go, Court, can you not put your feet up on my thing? And she goes, Kendall, it's a vehicle. And then, like, she goes like this and, like, puts her feet onto the headboards. So, Kendall told me about how miserable the trip was. We go to the grocery store. She goes, you guys, we cannot go off the grocery list. Buys like, can we buy potatoes? And Kendall's like, we cannot go off the grocery list. I go, guess what, guys? Who's buying them? It's on me. I'm kind of making fun of her, but like, it's funny. So I talked to Court about your trip. Right? Uh, what did she say? The grocery store, which you never told me this story. What happened at the grocery store? You guys couldn't steer off of this list. And I really wanted potatoes. Potatoes. And you said no to Shut potatoes. Shut up, she said that. I didn't say anything about steering off of a list. Shut up. I hate that she's like trying to make herself look better to make me look crazy. Wait, what? Because I'm skinny, bitch. Okay, be skinny and eat. No, I'm okay. so skinny. Eat that. Kendall? <laughs> didn't they ask me to be in Victoria's Secret? I said, no, you bitch. Kendall, what did I say? To Victor. Victor. <laughs> Who's Victor? Victoria. Victor. I meant Victoria. I told Victoria too. I was like, right. you, you bitch. Yeah, you Do you think I'm going to do my catwalk debut with you? We gave it to Kendall. We just said, Kendall, if you want our sloppy thirds, go ahead. Because me and Courtney are too like, busy. Kendall, that's a firm pass for me, but if you want to take it, I totally understand if you need this for your career. Thank you. <laughs> okay, the final question. What do you want to push yourself to do more of? 
Um. Maybe to like be more like open and like loving. Give them my address so they could drop me home. Why would I drop you home? Kendall? I'm not gonna go through the city to drop you home. Wait, do you want your own escalate? Uh oh. Corey, I'm not getting a What's happening? What are they yelling about? It's an emergency. Go get Kendall. Stop, stop. What's happening? Do you want to come with us? Kendall, turn around. Let's find out what, what happened. happened. Scoot over. Scoot over. Scoot over. Scoot over. Okay, again, so tell us what happened. To Kylie ever again. Okay, I'm dead sober. I wouldn't make up and she smacked she me not she like you smacked about? me or something and so i came back at her and smacked her in the face and then she took her heel and put it into my neck why so then i started kicking her why? back no we got in a full fight i'm sure kendall is saying many things to my family we're both very upset the fact that my sister my blood was reacting that way it's so upsetting I'm like, sorry I'm not into your fight. That's between y'all. You keep grouping us up like it's us against you. You've been a rude person for years. I'm about to tell you the truth about how you are. You don't apologize for nothing. You get into one thing, now you got something to run and harp on, then you tripping. Yeah, Corey Gamble is basically choosing sides and giving tough love to Kendall. I don't trip, though. Kiss my ass. I I don't need nobody kissing my ass. What the hell are you talking about? Everything was wrong. I mean, believe it however you want to. I, I ain't tripping. I mean, I don't like being in the middle. I wasn't even a part of it, and I feel stuck. I'm sorry, babe. What about calling her and just being the bigger person? I love my sister. I think that we'll figure it out just like we always do. Um, yeah. It was just an unfortunate situation. Just tune in because you never know what's going to happen. Okay, so that's my seven minute life review <laughs> for the situation as I can determine it. Now, to give you some perspective, I've been watching the Kardashians since the beginning. In fact, I started watching when Bruce was still on there as the dad. And I believe that it was Kim Kardashian had just had the situation with Ray J. We won't go into details. That's when I started watching. I don't watch every episode all the time, but I've been familiar with everything from Chloe's marriages to the Scott Disick and Courtney divorce. And now here we are with this one. Now, it seems like it it appears that it was easy to sort of pick on Kendall. There's so many K's here. Kendall, because she was the most, I guess, the quietest one in the bunch. Now, they're all strong in their own right. And one of the things I find so comical about them is that they could be telling you off and being totally condescending in the sweetest voices. <laughs> They, but every now and then, as you saw, they get riled up. Okay. Now, all of the sisters have had things going on. There's been things going on between Courtney and, and basically almost everybody. There's been things going on where they've said that Kylie was kind of separating from everyone. We already know Rob had situations with everyone, the brother, and it seems like from time to time they get together with certain ones in the sibling group and they gang up on others in the group and that is normal when you have this many kids now the thing i want to talk about is it seems that corey is trying to stay out of it now the way that the scene played out kendall said that corey put her out in the street as you saw in one of the clips Corey specifically asked Kendall when they were still at the club, did she want to get her own car while they were still there and still in the parking lot? Now, what happened that night was that all the sisters decided to get together in, 
I think it's Palm Bay. I'm not really certain. And Kendall and Kylie didn't bring clothes other than swimming suits and large T-shirts because it was supposed to be a weekend of just having fun. Now, what happened was they decided to go out to this bar, this cross-dressing bar where they have a lot of entertainment. It's really wild. And someone, I think it was Courtney, offered Kendall an outfit. Well, then Kylie came and she needed an outfit. And I think Kendall was doing something else and Kylie got the outfit. Kendall got upset and she kind of didn't really want to go anyway. And so she got upset over the out outfit. She started to use profanity. And then I believe it was Kim that offered her another outfit. Now, if you know anything about the Kardashians, you know they have outfits galore. So that was not the real issue. Once they got to the club, everybody decided to have fun. But Kendall wanted to remain in the car and just sleep. When they all got left the club and had eaten and had fun and been entertained, then Kendall wanted Kylie to take her home. And apparently her home and what I believe is Beverly Hills was very far from where they had been. So, yes, from Palm Springs, which is where they were headed for the family getaway to Beverly Hills is over two hours. And you know that when it's already late in the evening and you've been partying and drinking, you do not want to drive two hours somewhere and two hours back, four hours. So of course, Kylie did not want to do that. And that is why um, Corey asked Kendall, did she want to get a separate vehicle? Now, while they were going there, they got into an argument. I don't know who hit who first. Of course, everybody's going to have a different story. And you heard Scott in the recording saying, stop, stop. But Kendall didn't think that he stood in. And then she says that they put her out in the car, out of the car, and then she had to be picked up at a gas station. I don't know exactly what happened with that. I don't know if they left her with a security guard or what I really don't know I don't know if she had camera or crew with her I honestly don't know now if she was put out and of course Kim Kardashian was really upset about that because she had had that awful situation where she was kidnapped and had her jewels stolen and was put in a bathtub and taped up so she now takes the security very very seriously so I think that in this situation I know that everybody have been dealing with this for a long time earlier in that day when Kendall and Kylie had decided to ride together it was Corey that had said wow this is going to be interesting and that is because he already knew the dynamic of how Kendall was when she kind of gets in her moods or when she doesn't want to be bothered and if you've been if you have dealt with anybody who has mental health issues specifically any type of anxiety or mood disorder and Kendall has stated that it was to the effect that sometimes she could not talk sometimes she could not um, breathe and so it probably leads to other things specifically depending on what you use to deal with it so when she gets in those places she kind of probably shuts down a little bit and at the end of the day Corey kind of just didn't want to deal with it now there are many times that when we're in a family and he is participating with his family as Chris's boyfriend when you truly honestly just don't want to deal with someone but sometimes you you have to and the best thing to do would have been to stop the car call Chris tell them to send the car for um, Kendall and just let her leave the car and go be with someone who could more easily handle her at that time. The other thing I would say is that um, it would be necessary for Kendall to get some therapy to stop being the victim and to learn how to not be so sensitive because it seems like she has quite a little temper now we all know that Courtney is just like she's just gonna tell you just like it is and Kim does the same thing and so does Chloe they all are very strong as I mentioned in their own right but I think that of all of them it is Kendall who probably feels the least powerful 
And so sibling rivalry or whatever, I'm not saying they have that, but the mention about the Victoria's Secret and them giving their leftovers to Kendall. And you know that we all got to know Kendall through her modeling. So to assume that she kind of only got into it because they gave her their leftovers and that those were just gigs they didn't have time to do is to say that Kendall doesn't couldn't do her own career. She could only take the leftovers, which is not really fair to Kendall because she has every right to be who she is I'm sure they're going to start if they haven't already some type of publicity campaign to make Kendall a little bit more popular in the eyes of the public in actuality Kendall probably doesn't even care for that anyway she doesn't care what anybody thinks of her at the end of the day I'm sure Chloe and Courtney would say they were just teasing but you know everybody can't take teasing I have people in my family that cannot be teased and you know you can't say that they're weak or anything like that even though you might think they are you have to honor people for who they are and then you have to correct them when you feel that they're wrong one of the things I will say to Corey Gamble and this is from a cultural perspective as a black American or African American I know that you're from the south from Atlanta We've already seen the show where you said that you would um, spank Penelope if she scratched you. We understand the African-American culture when it comes to rearing children, but people aren't dealing with each other that way. With everybody saying they're mentally ill, not whether they are or they aren't, you really do have to handle people in a specific way and I think that that is okay Um, specifically when we're dealing with evolution and raising ourselves to higher vibrations I think that it would be good for you to be that way so as African Americans begin to merge more with other races from mixed marriages to mixed partnerships and what have you We all have to learn how to get along with each other. And we have to keep in mind that African-Americans were dealt with very harshly in the South. And some of that is spilling over. Now, I'm not saying that Kendall, I don't, I wouldn't even call Kendall spoiled. I will just say Kendall is Kendall. But one thing I will say is from a standpoint of people who have borderline tendencies not saying I'm not a doctor I can't diagnose her I don't even watch her enough to diagnose I can't do that but from the snippets that I've seen first of all a shout out to the Kardashians for putting themselves out there anyway but they've gotten rich enough that I think you got your payback a little bit but from a standpoint of her of Kendall's borderline tendencies I, I personally find it difficult to be with people like that. I understand Corey's take. I, I find that people who are overly sensitive, they really, really get on my nerves. And that's just something I have to work on. I just, I just don't, I don't have a good time with people like that. So I get where he wanted to get as far away from that as possible. And that he was just like, I'm done, cut the cord, it's over. But we can't do that we have to meet somewhere in the middle and I think there's something that both sides can learn from the other so tell me guys tell me what you think guys and thanks for watching take care bye-bye